I'm about to show you how I created 30 days of content. With this tool, I turned one video into 46 pieces of content. Damn! And by the end of this video, you're gonna have the exact system that I use to stay consistent without burnout. So let's start with my secret weapon. Who's heard of Poppy AI? It should be like five of y'all. If you don't, don't worry about it because this is super, super new, right? It's like nine months new. What you're seeing here a lot of videos, it looks like a really dope mood board and all that. So right there, you see me over there? I go, hey, here are my top videos, figure out my tone. It transcribes the videos and it actually sees the videos as well, right? Hey, here are my competitors, right? These are some of their top videos. I'm gonna give you an idea, now create a video script for me in my voice create different content ideas based off what my competitors have already worked on, right? So I do this from an Instagram standpoint, I do this from a hook standpoint because we all know first three seconds is super important, so I need to work on my hooks visually and saying it. So now I have a tool that will look at, because I already researched with perplexity, so I already know my competitors, right? I'm putting it here going, hey, figure out what I'm supposed to say in my carousel. Figure out what the video script is supposed to be. And it doesn't take, this is the problem with ChatGPT. This is where I go a little bit ugh about ChatGPT. I gotta transcribe it. I gotta put the transcription in there. I gotta put more documents in there. I gotta program it to know exactly what I need. This one took me about 10 minutes, I'm not gonna lie. This thing in the next couple of months, like I'm glad I'm telling you guys this because now you have an advantage because this one is like, oh, this is what AI is. This is how it's supposed to create everything. So let me show you three ways I use Poppy AI to create a content system. So the first part of the system is my content breakdown system, right? Where I take one video that I did and turn it into multiple written posts. So I have an interview that I did and in the text, I break it down into four different formats as well as 10 different quotes. And so what you're going to see right here is uh, the actionable guide, the opinion curated list, the story and engaging quotes that I can put into X threads or captions or even LinkedIn. The second way is turning your content into a newsletter. So for those who don't know, I have a newsletter called Content Corner. Slight plug, if you haven't subscribed to the Content Corner newsletter, that link is in the description. So for this system, I copy some of my old newsletters into a group and then I took the video that I wanted to talk about from my live and put it into another group. And then it drafted up a whole newsletter that I can use and share with the 10,000 subscribers that I have. The third way that I use Poppy AI and the most important way I use it is my feedback loop. For this, I take one of my videos, in this case, it's gonna be a YouTube video, and I gather all the analytics that are important for that platform, and I put it into here and I ask the AI to figure out what is wrong and how can I improve for views and retention. And it gives me pretty much a 10 step process to fix my videos. Before we get into the next tool, let me know what you think about Poppy AI. I left that link in the description as well. So let's go into tool number two, that one that I showed you that turned one video into 46 clips. Now, who uses Opus Clip? Come on, we got like, yeah, come on. Listen, I'm going to say this has been a super game changer for me because if you create long form videos, I don't necessarily have the time to chop up every single video I do, but yet I have to be consistent on Instagram. I have to be consistent on all these other social media platforms. Opus Clip allows me to do that with AI in a matter of minutes. So I go live probably like every Monday and I'll just upload my live and it creates about 15 to 20 clips that I can use. Now, I'm not gonna lie, not all of them are good. It's the typical AI stuff, not gonna lie to you. But there are probably about like three or four that is super fire, right? That would have taken me probably an hour or two to make because I'm an introvert and I overthink, okay? So this saves me time. Also, when we're talking about carousels, I can also turn that into a uh, 
a carousel format and now I can have multiple videos because carousels takes images and videos, right? Now I have multiple videos that I can put into a carousel that they're going to understand the video a little bit more. So this allows me to stay super consistent on Instagram without me even thinking about it. So this is inside of Opus Clip where I can take one video and turn it into multiple pieces of content. The great way is not only do I use it for reels, I can also take the transcript and turn it into written content. Plus it allows me to reframe it into multiple sizes like square and horizontal if I wanna repurpose it for like carousels and YouTube videos. And then when I'm done with all the clips, I can schedule them out to all the social media platforms all at once. So that's one video with multiple pieces of content that's ready for all social media platforms and I can get written content from it because of the transcript. Now this last one is no surprise, but I use it a bit different than most. I don't know if you've been paying attention to the ChatGPT new update. Make some noise if you've been paying attention to what's happening with ChatGPT and the images. My Lord. You can, I've created a little toy of me. Yo, I'm speaking at social media marketing world. I'm gonna take some pictures. Yo, create this as kind of like a comic book strip situation. And it does it in a matter of minutes. All inside of your own chat GPT. AI sucked with putting words. You still needed Canva. You still needed Photoshop. Now I can go, hey, put, I'm at social media marketing world and it looks perfect. So let me show you the different use cases for ChatGPT images. So I could turn a video into a carousel. So this was talking about when I had gotten the YouTube strike and I turned it into a complete carousel in a cartoon style too. The second way is I can turn a quote into an image. And so this is when I was talking about sinners and I created this image. We just covered some fire tools. We have Poppy AI that's going to figure out your voice and tone and break down your content. Then we had Opus Clip that is gonna turn that one video into multiple pieces of content. And then we have ChatGPT that you could create images that's almost better than a graphic designer. If you're still saying, I don't have the time to create content. Ain't nobody got time for that. I don't know what to tell you, the tools are right there. The system just gave you written video and images all in a batch creation so you don't have to create every single day. Now, if you're still overwhelmed, you're like, Nikki, I don't even know where to start. This is why I started my newsletter content corner because I break down how I started myself, all the strategies that I use, all the AI tools, and I'm just giving it to you for free. So that link is in the description. So drop in the comments, which tool are you gonna be using? Is it gonna be Poppy? Is it gonna be Opus? Is it gonna be ChatGPT? Is it gonna be all three? Let me know. And if you need more tools for your content system, go check out this new video.